am back with my eight month update after ACL and medial and lateral meniscus surgery. So first I'm just gonna talk about the appointment that I just had yesterday and then I'll just get into what I'm doing moving forward and how everything is then and stuff like that. I went back to the surgeon for another follow-up. This time I ended up doing it two speed and then doing the Y balance test again. And even doing it two speed on the um, 10 rep part that was a little bit like heavier feeling, it did hurt. And basically there's still a pretty big difference in my quads, but my hamstrings are much, much closer. Um, so overall, I still need to continue to work on my quad strength. And with the Y balance test, she was actually a little bit confused about the results because if you just looked at my injured leg from the last time to this time, there's a really big difference. But the thing is, once again, my right leg has gotten also a big difference. So the difference between my right and left is still too great. It's like no matter what I do, my uninjured leg continues to get stronger and stronger and my left just like can't catch up. Basically, moving forward, I'm going to just continue to really focus on that quad strength and hamstring strength of my left and really only do what I need to in order to maintain on my right because uh, things like running and the plyometrics and jumping are still triggering my right leg so I don't need to spend as much time with the strengthening and every time I do my right leg gets way stronger so moving forward I'm just going to be really focusing on that left side and obviously doing a lot more plyometrics and things like that I have started cutting in the last couple of weeks so obviously I'm going to continue to work on that and a lot of jumping single leg double leg and just overall plyometrics and agility so that's what I'm going to be doing moving forward I'll be going back in eight weeks for a follow-up and she told me in order to be clear at that time I would need to have my quad strength within 20 percent difference and my hamstring to be equal and so if everything kind of goes as it should then I will hopefully be getting cleared at 10 months which is two months from now so over the next eight weeks I'm really gonna be pushing quad strength hamstring strength and sport specific exercises to get back to the point where they're able to clear me at my next appointment that is my eight month update and I will be back at nine months to show you my progress between now and then and then hopefully at 10 months I will be cleared. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.